Paul Tor. Um, I'm an immigrant to Canada. I arrived when I was around four years old with my brother. Uh, I was born originally in, uh, I was born in, uh, in Yorkshire, England, in Uddersfield. And if you know anything about Uddersfield, it's uh, one of those places that you had a lot of uh, uh, West Indian migration into during the 60s and, and early 70s. Uh, one of those northern parts, industrial parts of, uh, of Yorkshire, or of England. Uh, so my father arrived uh, in, uh, in England and uh, met my mother, and they started a family. Um, following again the, uh, you know, the West Indian experiences, because uh, his, uh, his sister paid for him to come to England, and then uh, he built up and brought a couple of his siblings over, and the same experience, he finally came to Canada and helped uh, you know, help with other family members uh, get them into Canada. I think many of our, uh, you know, many families have that same experience, right? <laughs> get one person there and then, you know, bring a few other people and uh, that's how it really starts, right? And a lot of people ended up in Canada that way. So my family came to, uh, to Canada and uh, we uh, landed in the Flemington Park area. So I grew up in Flemington Park. Um, if you don't know where the area is, it's right across from the Toronto Science Center. You know those two brown buildings? I lived at Seven Rochford at the Brown Building. So that's where I grew up. So I always like to tell the story about my hallway. In my hallway, it was like the United Nations. You know, there was uh, Filipino, Korean, Chinese, uh, people from uh, Jamaica. And you name it, in my building, they had so many different cultures. So I always like to say, when you walk through the hallways during uh, dinner time, it was a very unique smell because you had all the different cultures uh, cooking and you know, differences. But it, I think it did something beautiful for me. It, kind of opened my eyes to the, the world around us and the, the beauty in which all, you know, so many cultures bring to this, uh, this country. I met, with, uh, I met with a group today from the Sim uh, Simcoe region. And they're telling me over the next uh, Sim Simcoe County, over the next uh, 20 years, they're going to have a 46% increase in population of projections. And a lot of those people are going to be newcomers. And I thought, to them, you know, that's basically where Toronto was, you know, 20 years ago, right? 25 years ago. Uh, 30 years ago. You know, we have so much, uh, and that experience was a beautiful experience for me, and imagine, as we move forward, if there are things that, you know, uh, we didn't get right, not as a community, but as a society, you know, uh, 30 years ago, imagine the opportunity we have now to develop and invest in those communities through, you know, through, uh, through immigration. Um, so I grew up in that area, and uh, it was a beautiful area. I had a fantastic childhood. I had two brothers, and uh, I was fortunate enough to have both uh, parents at home. And uh, you know, we lived in uh, low-cost uh, 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 apartments. But my father, you know, had a, a job at a, a furniture factory, another clean building. She became the superintendent eventually of the uh, building, and then uh, eventually she went on to uh, uh, work at Lord McMillan, where she continued to clean. My father uh, got a trade as a uh, washing machine repair net. So I grew up in that neighborhood and uh, um, you know contrary to uh, contrary to the you know the statistical numbers I was able to because you know, it was tough in my neighborhood that I always say there's only a few guys I know from e even my culture that had the opportunity to a post secondary education. Along my you know my road was a large Greek population, uh, black population, you know white population. The interesting thing about um, and this I'll get into this a little bit further when I talk about the Toronto District School Board, but you know, in my area, there was some poverty. And you know, when you have poverty, it doesn't matter what color you are. Um, you know, the success is not as great as when you come from an affluent community. 